Hello, this is Teacher Riza, and this is our lesson 10 for week 5 in General Mathematics. This is Market Indices for Stocks and Bonds. And our learning competency for this lesson, the students are able to analyze the different market indices for stocks and bonds. In our previous lesson, we discussed stocks and bonds and how to be a stockholder and bondholder by buying a share in a certain company. So now, how do stocks work? First, the companies issue stock to raise capital. Second, company receives money from launching IPO. Then companies use fundraise to generate more revenue. And the last one is shareholders sell shares to make a profit now how to buy and sell share this is through stock market index so stock market index is a measure of a portion of the stock market one example of this is the psi composite index or the psei it is composed of 30 companies carefully selected to represent the general movement of market prices. The up or down movement in percent change over time can indicate how the index is performing. And another indices are the sector indices that is representing a particular sector like financial institution, industrial corporation, holding firms, service corporation, mining and oil then we have the properties so stock index can be standard by which investors can compare the performance of their stocks a financial institution may want to compare its performance with those of others this can be done by comparing with the financials index so we have here an example of stock index table wherein we have the column for index the column for the value of the index and the chains of the index and the ratio of chains to value for example industrial here is the highest chains of index that is 125.08 wherein the ratio of chains to value is 1.07 the next is the mining and oil with a change of index value of 28.91 and the ratio of change to value of 0 0.24 and the lowest change of index value here is the services which is negative 16.27 and the ratio of change to value which is negative 1 and an example of stock stable we have here the table for 52 weeks we have the highest and lowest selling price of the stocks in the past 52 weeks then we have also the stock and the highest and lowest selling price in the last trading day then we have also the dividend and we have also the volume by hundreds in the closing price on the last trading day and then we have also the net change between in the two last trading for example for triple a the highest and lowest selling price for the past 52 weeks is highest is 94 and lowest is 44 wherein the highest selling price in the last trading day is 60 and the lowest price for the last trading day is 35.5 and the dividend is 0 0.70 with a volume by hundreds of 2050 and the closing price on the last trading day is 57.29 with a net charge between the last trading days of 0 0.10 that means that the closing price for that day before the last trading day is 57.29 less 0.10 is 57.19 then for triple b the highest uh, selling price of the stock in the, in the last 52 weeks is 88 and the lowest is 25 and the highest selling price in the last trading days is 45 and the lowest is 32.7 with a dividend of 0 0.28 with a volume of 10,700 and the closing price on the last trading days is 45.70 with a net charge of 
negative 0 0.2. Then we have the buying or selling stocks table. We have here the bid size, which is the number of individual by orders, and we have the bid price, the ask price, and the offer price or the ask size. So for bid size and price is for the buyers and for the us price and size is for the seller. For example, the buyer price is 21.60 with a size of 122 but the seller's price is 21.80 with one being placed in the online platform. And another is we have the uh, buyer's price is 21. 21.55 with a bid price of 9 but the seller's price is 21.90 with the size of 4 which has been placed in the online platform and for your activity you're going to find the market price of 1 1 million pesos bond at each quoted price so write your answer on the blank provided this is at 38 and we have at 16 for number 2, for number 3 at 89, for number 4 at 99 and 3 fourth, and for number 5 is 106 and 1 half. For example, at 43 means at 43%. So we're going to change that into decimal by dividing that by 100. So that is 0 0.43, then multiply to 1 million pesos. So that's equal to 430,000. The next we have a 206 and 1 fourth. That means that is 206.25 because 1 fourth is 0.25. That is 206.25% or divided by 100. So that's equivalent to 2.0625. Then multiply to 1 million. So we have 2,062,500 pesos. And then for activity 2, we're going to find the total cost of each stock purchase below so we have the first column is the number of shares the second column is the market price for share then the third column is the commission then you're going to find for the total cost now how you're going to find for the total cost you're going to multiply the number of shares and the market price for share then after multiplying that you're going to add the commission so that will be the total cost and for the third activity or the activity three, you're going to answer each of the following. So we have here problem number one with A and B question. Then problem number two, we have two questions also. And then for problem number three with A and B questions. And for your reflection, you're going to write what you've learned from this lesson. And before we end this episode, let me share this quotation from John Kennedy, we must find time to stop and thank the people who make a difference in our lives. Again, this is Teacher Riza always saying, stay safe. Have a nice day. Thank you.